The city of Louisville has more than 400 job openings and positions aimed at keeping you safe. WDRB's Grace Haba spoke with the departments with the greatest need about what's being done to boost numbers. Marked recruitment cars with QR codes. They're becoming more common in the streets of Louisville Metro. It's one of the ways Metro Corrections is making it easier for people to apply for roles to combat an ongoing worker shortage. One of the challenges we had too was really changing the culture. So um, we really had to, to unfortunately let some folks go in that or we'd be um, a lot closer to, to staffing. Well, he says numbers are improving. We're doing a lot better than we was last year. Um, we've hired over 80 officers this year. Jail director Jerry Collins says it could still take a year to get Louisville's jail fully staffed. So when we have a shortage, well, obviously they have to work um, mandatory overtime and, um, you know, that, that and that in and of itself, when you're when you're overworked in a critical job like that, you know, you have to be hyper vigilant when you're when you're working. So yeah, it can potentially create problems. There are currently 151 vacancies in Metro Corrections. Of them, 80 are sworn officer roles and 71 are civilian positions. Collins says hiring for both will require more money. Uh, you know, it used to be that we was uh, the highest paid jail in the state and, and now other folks to compete have raised their wages. LMPD is also working to fill shortages. Please raise your right hand. In December, LMPD welcomed 26 Aye. new officers, but still the department is hundreds short. Currently, there are 283 officer vacancies. Additionally, LMPD needs to fill another 92 openings for civilian roles. Meanwhile, Louisville Fire says efforts to boost recruitment post-pandemic seem to be working. Now we're able to get back out a little bit more frequently. We're kind of expanding our, our region as well, getting out of Louisville and Jefferson County, further into the state, up into Indiana. LFD currently has 47 available firefighter openings. Battalion Chief Bobby Cooper expects the next recruitment class this spring to fill that gap, but says yearly retirements will likely create another shortage of a similar size next year. There's a lot of jobs out there right now, so uh, people may have other options. They may not consider public safety as a career. It's a phenomenal career. Our job now and our challenge now is to show people how appealing the career is in public safety. With photojournalist Darius Bowie, Grace Haba, WDRB News. Well, police are still looking for suspects in a shooting that shut down part of the Waterson Expressway. The investigation started around 8 last night on the Waterson near Breckenridge Lane. Police found a man shot several times on DuPont Circle, which runs right next to the highway. The victim was taken to the hospital and is expected to survive. Part of the interstate was closed for about three hours during the investigation. No suspects have been named in this case. If you have any information about the shooting, you're asked to call 574-LMPD. You do not have to give police your name.